Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name's Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today, I went to the Tattered Turquoise Boutique, which is a local to me cowgirl boutique. However, they do have an online store. So I wanted to share what I got. I also did a little shopping at Lamley's. So if you're getting ready for Calgary Stampede, these are just two places that I would highly recommend to stop by. All right, let's just roll the intro because this could get long. All right, guys, so first things first, the Tattered Turquoise Boutique I came across at a rodeo. I was at a rodeo um, a little while ago and they had a booth set up and I always like checking out the booths. So first things first, I bought an oversized graphic tee. This is what it looks like, I'm wearing it. But the thing is, is you can wear it as like a tank top if you wanted, like you could make it, you could style it that way. It's definitely a unisex size. It was about 40 bucks by the way, but I, I always like supporting smaller boutiques, smaller brands. So I don't usually have a problem spending that type of money as long as it's supporting a smaller boutique or a good cause. Got this shirt. Absolutely love the color palette. I've been putting it together with my ranch dressing flares that have like this color on the majority of the pant. Absolutely so love it. i show you how I would wear this shirt with these flare pants. You see how they match? They match. So these pants are from Ranch Dressing. I've done a kind of haul video from them before, so you can just circle back in my videos and find them. But to be quite fair, this is one of my all time favorite outfits. I'd probably do this with the T, tuck it in. You could do this. That's the nice thing about these oversized is they're versatile, so Something like that. I could throw a hat on. It could be really cute, right? Absolutely. Got my chunky silverware. This is from a boutique in Vegas. If you guys want, you can check out my other videos because I've got a little bit of, you know, what I wear to the rodeo kind of thing um, in those videos. So the next thing I got were these two kind of rings. I got this one. There. Um, it's not real silver, but that's okay. I'm not mad about it because if you lose it, it's not a big deal. But it does have the turquoise dealing, so I always put it on the middle finger there. And then I got another chunky ring. I like a good chunky ring. Like I like to have a mitt full of silver on this hand. I have other rings that I usually wear with these, but I, I didn't get them from either one of these places, so I'm not going to include them in the video. But um, so this one's got like cacti and stuff on it, and it usually goes on that finger. And then I actually have a silver one that I wear here, and I have a black laskin that I wear here. But anyway, so that's what I got from her there. I also got, this is my favorite piece ever. Like favorite, favorite, favorite piece ever. I'm going to show you. This is a sweater from the Tattered Turquoise Boutique, but it's from a company called Crazy Train. And I've seen Crazy Train before. I love, love, love them. But it has got like these pops of, well, color, first of all, on this black, but it's the orange and the pink that does it for me. It's got a hood. I bought it in a small thinking it's gonna be tight, by the way. And I usually like, I like a medium. I can wear a small, I like a medium, large is cozy. That is just where I am in life. But it's like a, like a knit terry cloth almost. I'm not even sure what it's made of. We could probably look, see if there's a tag. Oh, there is. Let's, let's have a pokesy. Oh, my bad. Cotton and acrylic. Anyway, the way it's done feels like a terry cloth to me. Anyhow, I'm going to put it on so I can show you guys. But phenom. Like, get with it. Like, this is, you need this. This is a need. It's not even a want. It's a need. Because you need a good sweater. There's the brand Crazy Tray in there. One second and we will put it on. So, that's what it looks like. It fits oversized, but I've been wearing it in the summer and I know it's weird because it's a sweater and the summers are really hot where I live. So what I've been doing is rolling up the sleeves and just kind of wearing it like a short sleeve sweater. Yeah, you know, I live in a cold, cold climate like 90% of the year when I'm, I'm styling a short sleeve sweater. Okay, 
this is what it looks like on. I The only thing I wish it had was like pockets. I'm being really specific. I want pockets in a sweater or like a kangaroo pouch, a bunny hug pouch. Saying bunny hug should give out like my location. <laughs> but I would, I would love a bunny hug pouch or pockets. Absolutely love. So my entire order over at the Tur Hatter Turquoise Boutique for the shirt, this sweater, this sweater was like only 30 bucks, by the way. The t-shirt was more, and these, I think, my entire order was around $80. It's fair. This sweater should have been $50 in my mind. I think it was on sale. I don't care. I love it. All right, so this is how the sweater fits. I'm gonna show you, I wanna show you how low it goes as well. So cute, right? So cute. Love the hood. For when it rains. Oh my God, I can't. Next. I also did some shopping at Lamley's. I, hmm, I go up and down with Lamley's. Sometimes I absolutely hate what they bring in. Sometimes I absolutely love what they bring in. Sometimes they just carry the essentials. First things first, I got these wicked earrings. These are, I got a pair by the way, I have two, two. And I actually have a pair of these included in my giveaway and my giveaway is still open. So if you guys are interested, go back through my channel, just to have a little pokesy at the giveaway video, follow the instructions and I will be picking a winner soon. But these are the Wild Horse earrings. They are beaded, they are lovely. I absolutely love them, they look amazing with everything they're light which i love you need a good light dangle because sometimes they can get a lot heavy and like these are like every day for me i love these so these were i think 30 dollars at lamley's but worth it in my mind they actually also had a neutral pair but i like the pops of blue the next thing i bought at lamley's i'm just gonna make sure i got the price right on this yeah Ugh. I needed a new ball cap because I had one given to me by Wrangler many, many years ago and it finally wore itself out. I just needed a new one. So I went and got a, a Kimes, Kimes, Kim's, Kimes. I'm sure it's Kimes. They make a phenomenal jean, by the way. But this hat was $49. Blow your mind. I know. Mesh back, adjustable. I love the color tones here, by the way. Just love, love, love. And I think they've gone up in price because they were featured on Yellowstone. But anyway, I like a good ball hat. Ball cap, ball hat, I don't know. Anyway, got that, $49. It was kind of like a punch in the gut when she said $49, but I needed one, so I bought it. So the next thing I bought, this one was $44.95. So this was cheaper than the ball hat, ball cap. Crazy. Anyway, this is a Wrangler Retro. This one has the tags. I haven't worn this, but I accidentally pulled the tags off of this. And I wore the shit out of this, by the way. So I just wanted to show you what I got, but I've worn the shit out of this. So this is a Wrangler Retro. Look, $44.95. What the hell is this? Why can't we have t-shirts that are reasonable price? It's not even, I guess it's a long sleeve. So I guess I'm paying a little extra because it's long sleeve. But... <clears throat> this is what it looks like. I love this print. And I'm not big for graphic tees. What size did I get this in? Oh, a small. I got it in a small, but it's oversized because I did try it on. I love this print. I love that it's cotton. It's light. So like on a cooler day at a rodeo or, you know, just chilling, this would be a perfect shirt for you to wear. I just absolutely love it. love it. And you know, like, um, how do I explain it? It's like a, like a velveteen like kind of, it's like a texture. You can feel the texture, the fuzzy. This is the fuzzy texture, all of it. It's like the print. It's not like, it's not screen printed on there. It is um, printed on with that fuzzy, fuzzy texture. I'll do a close up with the camera later. But yeah, so Wrangler Retro in a small, I'll put it on for you so you can see it. Yeah. The fit's good, the color's good. Oh, look at my baby hairs. Oh. Okay, fit's good, color's good, love it. It's not gonna ride up on you because it's a little bit longer, like it's a little bit oversized, which I like. I like the oversized right now. I don't like the 90s cut 
hip jeans. I went through that phase, not a fan. I love this phase. A little bit looser, a little bit cooler. See, part of the reason I bought this shirt because it goes with the hat. I know, I know I am that girl. Ah, ah. Fine and dandy. Next thing I bought, and you may have seen these in a video recently, but I wanted to show you guys some options for pants other than jeans at a Western store. Blow your mind. I have a ton of jeans. I have so many jeans, it's sick. Like sick, sick, sick. I have to go through them and get, I have, hmm, okay. When my husband, when we were dating and he was rodeoing, rodeoing, rodeo, on the rodeo trail full time. Uh, mm, I had probably had every pair of Miss Me Western jeans possible. And I still have them to the same. Like I have a bin, about this deep, by about this big, by about this big, just layered with jeans, cow print jeans, um, horseshoe jeans, star jeans, um, you know, light wash jeans, um, retro light wash jeans, dark wash jeans. I have all of them. And then I decided that I'm going to need more jeans. So I'm, I'm into the high-waisted high jeans now. And then I like the cowgirl tough jeans and they got some really wicked styles in them. So, but I needed some pants. I needed some pants. <laughs> so, mm, and I like a boot cut. I'm not a skinny jean type of gal. I hate it. I think it looks terrible on everybody. Men, women, all gendered. Skinny jean, awful. A straight leg, different. Like a tight skinny jean. I bought these uh, pants. These are Ariat. They call them denim trousers. They're a little bit more like heavy duty than your regular trouser, but they've got a, they're kind of dirty by the way, because I have worn these out, but look at the flare. I love the color. The wine color is amazing. Um, they call them a slim trouser in a high rise and I bought them in a 29. I usually am somewhere between, hold on. I'm somewhere between a 27 and 29. In ranch dressing, I'm a size four. Like someone get, just get the sizing right. I don't even care what the number is. Just make sure it's all the same everywhere. Besides the point. These are a trouser. I will put these on for you to show you what they fit like. I love the color. They wear amazing. They wash really, really good. And they just, I just wanted to share them with you. So they're an Ariat trouser. I love the pockets. They have nice pockets in the front, nice button up zip in the front as well. Overall, 110%. I will put these on. However, I want to show you something else I got. So I'm a jean jacket type of girl. I've got a jean jacket with Sherpa on the inside. I um, had a jean jacket that was more like a shell jean jacket. I ended up lending it to somebody and that somebody moved back to Australia with it. So... I had to find another one. I couldn't find one. All of a sudden I go to Lamley's to buy all this other crap and there's one there. So this jean jacket, sorry, these pants, by the way, were like 80 bucks. Anyway, so I bought this Wrangler jean jacket and it is just the shell jean jacket, but it is the Wrangler retro in a medium. There's quite a bit of stretch to it. Like I said, I don't like a... I, I can wear a small, I prefer medium, a large is cozy. So my winter version of my jean jacket is a large so I can fit a sweater underneath. This is my summer version and it is a medium. So it's very, very stretchy. It's not cropped, like it sits correct, right at where it should, your pants, where your pants hit, that's where it sits. So. I love the color of it. It's kind of, it does give me retro vibes. It's got the nice detailing. Like this is what I like. I like these like button tops that are detailed. Um, pockets, all these are functional pockets. It's got the little Wrangler up here. So I'm gonna go put this on for you guys and show you the fit. Just quick. The other thing I bought at Lamley's, this was a while ago, but they still have them and they have them in different colors now. And these are kind of getting popular. I have a lot of cowboy boots but I like these ones. These ones are, I believe they're Ariat. Yep, Ariat boots. These are, uh, these are actually seven and a half. Um, snip toe, little black shorties. I really like them. I have worn them. They wear well. 
I just wanted to show you because I'm gonna put this on with this outfit and I don't want you to think I've just put boots on. So I did buy these, these are expensive. They're about $300, 250 bucks, I guess. Worth it? Yes. I do like these boots. Okay, I'll put the, I'm gonna turn you guys this way so you can see the outfit this way. Okay, so this is the fit. As you can see, these pants fit amazing. They are like a little big on me. Like when I mean a little, I could have bought the 27s. I decided to size up because girl, I've been bloating lately <laughs> and it just sometimes don't feel good. So I decided to size up. That's just me. There is quite a bit of stretch to them. I love the flared leg on them. Love, love, love. This shirt, get real. How cute is it? Tag's still on, I feel like Aunt May, but that's okay. Wrangler jean jacket, this is a good look. Throw on those funky Y.O. horse earrings and off you go. So, that is what the fit looks like. This is all from Lamley's, boots included. This is the fit. I absolutely love it. Comfortable, comfortable. The jacket's like got a bunch of stretch to it. Amazing. Shirt's super cute. You could wear it with the hat if you wanted to. Like you could be cute in this outfit, right? Like, am I not cute? I think I'm cute. Comment down below if you think I'm cute. All right, guys, okay. that's kind of it for today's video. I don't have much else to say or to wear. My hair is a mess, but that's okay. I love you all. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. All right, guys, we will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.